Thank you for staying with us. An actor, stand-up comedian, graduate of psychology from the Abafemir Wallow University, a graduate of the Mert Film School in the United Kingdom, started acting while still an undergraduate and rose to stardom through his comedy skit on social media. In 2018, he premiered in, his mov in the movie The Call. Recently, he launched an online title, The Chat Room. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us to welcome Wally Arale. Oh, God. Oh, God. What? Oh, God. <laughs> now, is that supposed to be Oh, God or Oh, God? Uh, actually, it uh, is like an, an abbreviation of Oh, God. So, the D is silent. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really, how are you coping with the, with the lockdown? Uh, we, we're doing fine. We're trying to keep the energy high, you know, make people happy, see what we can create and all. So we're trying to make the world smile. Is this uh, beard the result of the lockdown? What, what did you say? This beard that I see is heavier than usual. Is it the result of the lockdown? What, what, the, my beard, or what did you see? Yes. Is it a result of the lockdown? <laughs> Some, someone told me I'm already looking like the Bible heroes. I'm looking something a bit like Aaron, something like Moses, a bit Elijah. We can't go out, we can't go to the Babin Saloon. The saloon people are locked down, we are locked down. So gradually, I'm looking biblical. <laughs> No, no, actually, I think you're looking more like John the Baptist. It's just that you're not in the wilderness yet. <laughs> I like the way he just looks. I really, where exactly are you? I, I'm, I'm in my house. I'm in my house. I'm in Lagos, Nigeria. Uh, ah, Chai, thank God for lockdown, though. <laughs> because we'd have been looking for a way to catch you today. <laughs> you know what? Um, okay, so... Before now, you've been all over the place. You've been carrying on with different things. You, you just, you just go around prophesying. I mean, and what and trans? Come, what did God reveal to you about this pandemic before it even hit? I know God spoke to you. So tell us, what did He reveal to you? Uh, uh, you see, let me tell you something. The uh, over almost two years ago, I've been doing fasting and prayer. So I saw something January 14. That was this year. Started praying. I hear panda. What's what's panda? Pandemic. That's where people don't really know. So you know, but what I can tell people as a prophet is that this too shall pass. It's just uh, you know, it even came from something, something China. She shone on her. But but I won't tell everybody truthfully, 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 truthfully. This is going to end. It's just a time for us to relax, reset ourselves, rethink, re-strategize, and we are coming back happy. Call it. Will you paro? Mori, no, you clearly me at it, Paddy. Write it down. Mm. Um, the prophet does not lie. Okay. Mm. okay. So write down what he has said, just, you know. Okay, so I'll take it. To write down, I will leave. Uh, but while all of this is happening, and we're all trying to research, I mean, reset, as you said, um, you went ahead to start up something called the chat room. Why? Yeah. Uh, actually, the, the chat room thing, you know, we're just at home. I, I felt firstly that everybody's energy couldn't just go down. We're, uh, for me, I'm a content creator. I'm meant to make people happy, make people excited. So the chat room was just a spontaneous idea, you know. One night I couldn't sleep. I felt it was just God speaking to me. So I and I felt that I could use the social media for a positive impact. My Instagram handle, I have millions of followers. So I started interviewing guests, bringing people in just on Instagram. It's just like a TV show. We bring them in. They talk about their stories. They inspire people. We have people. We've had Igalo from football to entertainment to religion, we've had Pastor Nikia DME, Fela Drotoe, uh, you know, it's been amazing. People have learned, people have, you know, people have been entertained, just something fresh, renewed that people can watch and can be enlightening by the by the fact that people are home for this lockdown. So so that was what brought about, just people telling their stories and inspiring people. So that was what got back to 
chat room with Oli Arode. But how has it been, with all the people you've had, how would you assess the impact it's made? Because within this period also, there's that part about the mental health of a lot of people. And indeed, would you say what you're doing is helping out? Yeah, I, I, can, I can say tremendously, it's been amazing. I've got a lot of calls on WhatsApp. My DMs are full. People are telling me at the moment where some people are sad, they can't just wait to log on my Instagram, you know, and do quickly. Once I, I put on my Instagram live, and the people I bring are people they don't expect. I have a section where I celebrate legends. I brought in Said Oshupa. I brought in a lot of legends that people, are, you know, it's been a while they've seen these people across different sectors, and it's amazing. I brought in Mike Bamiloye, his son, celebrated the music, spoke about Fuji music. So it's refreshing. People are seeing their, their heroes, people that they've not seen for a long time. I brought in Mama Bolare, that awesome gospel musician. And it's been, I brought in Musila um, Aruno uh, Ishola, that sang So Yo Yo. You know, the Aparaman, long time. So people that are not really glued to, the, to, to online are now coming. I brought in Ayuba. So it's really refreshing, energizing for people, people that are meant to be thinking down. And another thing we do in the course of the chat room, we give people giveaways, we send money to some people to buy food for their family. So I think it's a new thing that is so refreshing, energizing and so powerful. And people, the testimonies are very, 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 very enormous. So would you say that the coronavirus has an opportunity to recreate? In fact, more than an opportunity for me, I must say it, it, it's helped me to re-strategize, recreate, because I just sat down that I can't be down as well. I can't be complaining as well. The energy is down, people are sad, but I, I took it upon myself, the responsibility of happiness. I need to make people happy. I need to make them excited. You know, they need to come to my page and see hope and see joy. And I must say that this lockdown has been a huge opportunity. I just, you know, I just had to look for the opportunity that deep down in it. I had to look for that thing, that, that silver lining that I just need to turn, turning my lemon to lemonade, and it's been amazing. You know what I mean? I mean? In fact, I interviewed guests from America, from United Kingdom, a particular guy that had a particular email, young boy. It went viral all over the world, and it's been awesome. I must say it's been incredible. I'm super, I'm really excited. Now, Wally, will this continue after the lockdown, after post-COVID? What did you say? So will this continue after COVID? Yeah, yeah, it, because it, for, for me, when I, when I started this, I just wanted to do something for my fans and friends to come on board, but it just blew into the atmosphere. And in fact, my fans and people, my lovers, everyone are saying, I really, this needs to continue, even beyond Instagram, that this could be a show because people are coming in with their stories. And that is the most brilliant part of it. It's not theory. People that have succeeded, you know, people learning from people that they see as role model is super fresh. And, and, and I also inculcate the new guys, you know, they come on board. I had La Cici Eleno, I bring in comedy vibe into it. Kenny Black was there for the Shaggy. So it's just a full bunch of entertainment, you know, in just please second of 10, 20 to 30 minutes. So refreshing. So I, I have a strong belief that it's going to continue after COVID and it's going to be bigger, you know, on the screen, a real show that people can, you know, enjoy, experience that fun because I feel everybody is worth to be celebrated. Meanwhile, are you also thinking about getting a selfie stick? This thing of holding your phone up, is it not <laughs> hurting your heart? You see, the, 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 what, what, the thing about the selfie stick is, you know, there is a covenant between me and selfie stick that I don't joke with. That was what they used to call me. Only pay to me, they call Moses with a rod. I pay me, pay the selfie stick, oh Lord. You see, there's even between the call, the colleague, and the caller. That's a mystery. Don't let me unveil it here, this one. Wally, please translate that into English for us. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said there is a difference between the caller, listen attentively, the colleague, listen, and the caller stone. You see, they are intertwined. I was called with a service stick the way God covers this with a rod. So when I stretch that stick, her Lord. It does the stick I used to pray for a gallo. You see, people, even channels don't joke with it. That's why I'm here. Yes, thank you, sir. <laughs> but but I will let you I, is that, you, didn't, you don't look like you're holding a stick in your <laughs> Okay, you know what? It's Let's spiritual. leave that. It's spiritual. That's it's a spiritual stick. Spiritual. That's a good one. Okay, um, but
creativity, the entertainment industry has greatly been impacted. Some will say negatively. Concerts have been cancelled. Tours have been put on hold. And some contracts that were signed have not been met. Some of you, for instance, have had um, clients who expected you at certain gigs, but you've not gone owing to the pandemic. What's, how is all of this working out for you? Uh, actually, I, I, I must say for, for people in the creative industry, I won't lie, it's really a major, you know, trying time for us because majorly our work is based on transaction with people that are, you know, that are much in a place, you know, when we do our MC, when we do comedy, and right now people can't get, they can't really offer that, that, that happiness to them. It's really, really, before this, this COVID thing, I had like two events, my client called me that, I really, we can't hold this again, but, but this is my take. Uh, like, like I said, I feel that in everybody's life, there will be a seven days of firming and a seven years of plenty, just like the Bible, Joseph story. So I feel that every entertainer, this is an indication that guys, no matter what you're doing, there could be that cease. So are you saving? Are you investing? What, are, what, what other thing are you doing? What other thing can make you money in case your health goes down, in case you're not meant to generate happiness? But, but I feel that you know it's really, really a big trying time for the creative industry, even for, for people that are into film production. But, but, but I believe we're going to come out strong, powerful, and very, very refreshed after this whole lockdown. Mm. But what about the challenges of continuing? Would, would there be a continuity if the pandemic, I mean, all that's going on now, how would it be continuing beyond now? Uh, like, like, like the way we are saying it, because there is high possibility. Uh, we don't know how this is going to last long. Like, I, like I said, so there is, there is going to be. I, I sense deeply that there's going to be a reformation in the investment industry in Nigeria till after everything is clear. Uh, we don't know if the government will come with saying that you know. Uh, there can't be much of gathering of maybe 2,000 or 1,500 people. You know, maybe it's going to be 200 people you're going to have, or 100 people. So I, I feel that so every entertainer, comedian, musician must start to plan a restructuring in their craft. Because, you know, if you have a client that they are your client, I think this is the best time to just reach out to your potential client. Because, you know, it, it's going to really, really be a type one. We are just into our normal life back. Things might not just be back normally immediately things might just begin to adjust gradually. So I feel a, a bit of re-strategizing, restructuring, you know, forming bond with people that you work with at this time is very crucial for sustainability after this pandemic. I want to say thank you so much for coming in to lighten up the atmosphere. But before we end the show, we're going to go back again to look a little bit at what the role all of us can play in the health of our nation as individuals collectively. Thank you so much. Sorry, we'll be back in a moment. Just stay with us. Thank <music> you.